So apparently if this is all true and or fact, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 could be getting a sequel or two. Not only information that we'll be going over in today's video does come from Dark Universe and Joe Below from like, you know, these two article websites and everything that do talk about horror. So I'll make sure to link them both down below if you guys do want to go give them a read for yourself since they both are really good articles and everything. And if you guys do want to get more information or not watch it in a video form or just go and read it, then I'll be sure to link them all down below as per usual. So first I want to take a look at the article by Dark Universe, the like, you know, first article that I like found originally on this topic. Now I am a bit late to this topic and everything as you know telling by the literal publishing date of a lot of these articles but the article from dark universe headline reads off texas chance of massacre netflix allegedly wants two or more sequels now before i go any further as you see in the article title, allegedly. None of this is confirmed. None of this is at all, like, you know, confirmed by, like, anybody at all besides maybe just some rumors that people might have heard. So take everything with a massive grain of salt, and I'll get into why further into the video why maybe this might not happen, or maybe will, I don't know. But going into the article, it basically says, allegedly, Netflix has ordered two more Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels. At this past weekend's Monster Palooza convention in Pasadena, California, Leatherface himself Mark Burnham and one of the film's producers apparently told attendees at the event that Leatherface will be back for more bloody carnage. We know that David Blue Garcia who directed the 2022 film has his own ideas for future sequels and is keen to put those in motion. So basically at a event or a convention Monster Palooza convention in Pasadena California basically the man or person that played Leatherface in the 2022 film and one of the film's producers did tell people at the Monster Palooza convention that they that Netflix did order two more like you know Texas Chainsaw Massacre films for obviously Netflix which would be kind of interesting yet again I'll get into it a little bit more later why that is but basically that's allegedly that like you know the Leatherface himself or anything and one of the film's producers did tell people that Netflix did order two more films and that the person who directed the film David Blue Garcia does have ideas for future sequels that he would like to actually put into motion and that it does say in the article I've never seen this anywhere so again and take I guess with a grain of salt but basically it does say we know that David Blue Garcia so maybe he said in an interview somewhere that he does have ideas for sequels that he does want to put into motion so I guess it proves that he does have some ideas now going over to the Joe Blow article it basically says all the same stuff in the like you know original like you know horror or dark universe article but it does go over some things that was very interesting that will go into kind of if this is true or not and everything kind of to just go into more the I guess finances or the common sense aspect of it all so basically in the Joe Blow article it reads off the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre did have a successful first weekend on Netflix it was the second most viewed movie on the service during the February 14th to February 20th time period which only covered its first three days of release in those three days Netflix subscribers streamed the film a total of 29.18 million hours or for a total of 29.18 hours which is pretty good in my honest opinion it's a big number I don't know actually if that's good on Netflix numbers or anything but it does sound like big numbers so it sounds good to me so it does go on to say Texas Chainsaw Massacre also ranked in the top 10 in 94 countries reaching number one on the daily list in the United States Bolivia Brazil Honduras Oman, Philippines, and Saudi Arabia, which seems pretty good that it reached number one and actually it's had a lot of hours watched and just a lot of people streaming it overall and within its first three days and just all those good records that it broke. And it goes on to say as a closing statement, basically saying that, that sounds like a good reason to make a couple of low budget sequels to me, like, you know, the Joe Blow like, you know, article says. Now, I will admit it does look like it had some good ass numbers for its first three days and just in general for like, you know, a good run of its general release window. Now I'll be perfectly honest, I'm gonna get into the reasons of why this might not be too good of an idea. Now obviously, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know, it's gonna get people to watch it no matter what. People will want to check it out. I mean, hell, some of the worst Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like, you know, films have, you know, cult followings, people that, like, you know, will watch it or anything, people that will keep the, like, you know, name going until death do with them part. But I do think it's probably not good just for the franchise like here's the thing obviously if it makes money people like will want to make more and or anything and obviously all of that but it, it's 
it's money versus the integrity of the franchise and everything. Like, you don't want to, like, drive it into the fucking ground. But at the same time, they want to make money. Now, I don't know the actual intentions of the directors, producers, everyone behind the film, whether they want to make a genuinely good Texas Chainsaw Massacre or if they're just in for the quick buck. I've not watched any articles, interviews, or anything on, like, you know, anybody behind this film. So I don't know their general intentions, nor am I accusing anybody of, like, you know, just being money hungry and not wanting to make a good movie at all. So don't take that in the wrong way, but I do genuinely hope that they take a look at the reviews of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 and keep that in mind for the scripts for the sequels if this does happen. Because for the reviews, it got a 4.8 out of 10 for IMDb, 32% of Rotten Tomatoes, which I know a lot of people don't trust Rotten Tomatoes, especially because the reviewers. So the audience score is 26%, even lower than the like, you know, reviewers and a 3 three out of five on common sense which i don't know about that review site at all or anything and for google users 51 percent of people like that so that's not too good there's not a lot of good reviews for this movie in general and i personally will come out with a review later on like i do want to make it something that's actually good besides just going yeah i liked it this and that and i do want to make it something that's actually entertaining for people but as a quick and like you know early opinion i didn't love it or anything i found the characters very hard to care about root for and all this stuff besides just a few just cheap surprises that were thrown in i guess some interesting surprises but i guess and another like could be cheap so yeah that was all i really want to talk about in today's video i just want to quickly go over this and everything since i like you know i am a fan of texas chance of massacre i'm obviously a fan of horror if you can tell by horror if you can tell by the channel but i really don't want to see my favorite franchises get driven into the fucking ground of obscurity and just like you know just being so bad and everything i'll admit 2022's texas chainsaw massacre or the texas chainsaw massacre wasn't the worst thing ever made but it definitely missed the mark a lot from what i do like about horror and texas chainsaw massacre sure it had bloody and some cool kills and everything even though there were so many kills that it kind of made some of the bigger kills a little less impactful but I just don't want to see, like, you know, it to get drove in it driven into the ground. So I do hope the director, David Blue Garcia, and a lot of the people behind the film did take a lot of the criticism seriously and will also run with their own vision and not completely let fans drive it into the ground, but also, like, you know, take both sides, craft something that's truly good much better than what we got in 2022 and build up a lot of what we didn't like and what the like you know directors producers writers everyone wants to incorporate into this these sequels if they do happen because as i said all this is rumors alleged speculation or anything from a like you know convention monster palooza in pasadena california so yeah so i really want to talk about today's video make sure to leave your thoughts down below on this do you guys want another texas chainsaw massacre movie or anything do you guys think this is a good idea do you guys think it will do well what do you guys think will be the plot i don't know if it'll be a personal continuation or a continuation of the 2022 film if we'll get to see the character um Ly lila i think her name is or layla or something if we'll get to see her story continued after her sister's death melody that would be personally cool although i don't know what the story will be whether it'll be a continuation so what do you guys think so yeah um, that was all my, I'll make, guys, I'll make sure to link all these sources and all that down below in the description all the articles everything and yeah i'll see you guys later peace my amigos and peace out